possession and sale of marijuana is contrary to Jamaican law under the 1964 Dangerous Drugs Act. Cannabis sativa is, uh, the pistolet portions of it, is against the law for possession or sale. Well, originally, historically, ganja was not a problem. The plant grows, I believe, uh, wildly in many of the Jamaican mountainous regions. Mm -hmm. However, the problem that I see is that ganja leads to harder drugs, such as cocaine or heroin, or worse. And that is a significant problem because people who start abusing marijuana then go on to be either addicts of crack cocaine or addicts of cocaine powder or get hooked on heroin. And that is a very, very serious problem. So it appears to me that in Jamaica, Marijuana is an entry drug, a drug that leads uh, individuals who are addicts to harder and more dangerous drugs. It's difficult to assess the role of ganja vis-a-vis -vis the role of cocaine, but I'm sure that individuals who illegally are involved in the sale of marijuana are also involved in crime in Jamaica. And I'm sure that the sale of marijuana is associated in some way with the murder rate that we have. And it has been documented that the ex export and import of marijuana is associated with the introduction of weapons into Jamaica. We sell marijuana that we go in Jamaica and what we get in return are serious firearms, high-powered firearms that we cannot manufacture, but which kill Jamaicans by the hundreds. Well, I don't know that there's a growing global movement. Uh, certainly we've had developments in the state of Colorado in the United States recently and how that how these developments are going to be resolved because of the conflict with federal narcotics laws is still a question it must be said though that the this attempt to make marijuana a product, a commercial product, is extremely dangerous and could have a very significant negative effect on the Jamaican economy and also the Jamaican quality of life. I'm not saying that there are not extracts from cannabis that might be of some use for, say, cataracts and other eye ailments. I understand that perhaps ganja tea might be able to assist some people who have respiratory difficulties. But that, the extracts, medicinal extracts from marijuana is entirely different from the whole scale sale or liberalization of marijuana. And I don't think that's going to happen. I think that Jamaican youngsters consume too much marijuana as it is. I don't think that it's the consumption of narcotics in large quantities by young people is healthy or good. And in fact, I'm of the view that the amount of marijuana in Jamaica should be reduced rather than there be any commercialization of marijuana. I'm very much against that. I think that that is dangerous and is going to 
lead to the broad introduction to Jamaica of organized crime, organized crime that benefit from the sale of marijuana.